Welcome on in. Well, thank you very much. Well, I can't wait to see a full stadium here in a few months. So thank you for being here with us tonight. And you know, I was hired here in January and my job immediately was to evaluate everything. And I mean everything, and that's exactly what we want on a mission to do. And I'm going to share a couple of things with you that I found. Number one, we have an incredible owner, an owner that can really do anything in the world he wants to do. But I'm telling you about our owner. He wants to win, and why he wants to win? He wants to win for you. He wants to win for 904. He wants to win for Duval. And it's our job as a coaching staff, the draft picks, and the core of our team to bring a winner to Jacksonville for our owner and for you. Number second thing I was responsible to do is hiring elite staff. And I really believe I've done that. I've never worked harder at hiring coaches. I tried to do a, a mix between very successful and experienced NFL coaches and college coaches. And that's what I did. So I'm going to think, I think you've earned the right uh, to enter the first time introduction of our coordinators. Let them say a couple words to you. And then I'll come back to you and we'll visit the night, uh, finish the night. But our first, uh, our first coordinator, offensive coordinator. And uh, I, once again, I did a lot of homework on him. I knew of him. I never really met him before. But uh, interviewed about five or six different people. The guys that got a 21-year uh, veteran in the National Football League. And he also is a Super Bowl champion. So I'll introduce our offensive coordinator, Daryl Bevel. Thanks, Coach. Uh, super excited to be here tonight um, in Jacksonville. Also excited to see what happens tonight, right? That's why we're all here. Excited to see how this draft goes. We're going to be doing that thing twice tonight. And then last but not least, I can't wait to get on this field to have you in these stands and watch what these players are getting ready to do. If you saw what's going on behind these doors back here with these guys, you would be amazed. And they're ready to bring this and score some points on this field. Thanks for having us. Next guy I've known for a long, long time. He's a 15-year veteran in the National Football League. Last five years, he's with the Baltimore Ravens, and he's going to lead our defense, our defense coordinator, Joe Cullen. Thanks, Coach. I tell you what, it's great to be back in Jacksonville. I had the privilege to coach here when Shad bought the team. And uh, I'll tell you what, when Coach Meyer called, I said, how fast do you want me down there? There's, there's one word I want to give you that when you, when, you, when you watch Coach Meyer's teams and when you step into our stadium and you see how our team plays, it's relentless. You're going to see a team that's going to play with their hair on fire and relentless, just what this city's all about. It's a great city, and I'll tell you what, when this stadium is packed, and the way our defense, the way our offense, the way our special teams play, and if you sum it up in one word, it's going to be relentless. And I, I tell you what, can't wait for the first pick tonight. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a pick that is going to set the city and the franchise going that way for many years ahead. Thank you. And finally, I'd like to introduce the number two in command, and that's uh, my assistant head coach, a guy I've known. 25 years, a guy that all of the state of Florida knows very well. In 2005, I hired Coach Strong to be my defense coordinator at Florida. We won two national championships together. A guy that I have immense respect for, our assistant head coach, Charlie Strong. You did me right. Well, I was just saying to Joe uh, Cullen when we were standing over to the side, I don't think I've ever been in this stadium with it being this empty. Because every time we came in here, it was always Florida versus Georgia. And I think our results was pretty good. But I would say this to you. When you're around a special organization like this, and you have a special owner and con, you go out and hire winners. And that's what he did. He went out and hired the best coach, whether it be college football or professional football. He went out and hired the best in Coach Meyer. And then we put it together, an unbelievable staff. But if you were to see the way our players are working right now, they have come in with a total new attitude. It's a new challenge for them. But I'm just so happy that what they're doing right now and how they're responding to what we're asking them to do. 
But if you do it, if you were just to see behind those doors right now, and we know this, without a doubt, last year wasn't good enough. Wasn't good enough at all. And we're looking to take this program to the next level, which that is going to happen a lot sooner than later. So we're happy, so happy you uh, turned out tonight. And let's go get it done. Go Jags! And the final thing, obviously, I evaluated was our roster. And I think it's too easy for anybody to just say you got bad players because you know what? We don't have bad players. We have a very, very strong core group of players at the Jaguars. And everything I've asked these players to do since January, here's what's really cool. They've done everything and more than I've asked. They've been here training. They can't wait to play next fall in front of you guys. They've done everything we've asked. The last thing before I hand it back is that you're going to see a mantra around our organization. And Shad and I have had this conversation. Anyone associated in this facility, in this building, I want them, we all want them to own it. If three years from now people respect and fear the emblem of the Jaguar, we've done our job. We've owned it. Now I'm going to ask you as a 904 in Duval, we need to own this thing together. You tell me, I'm tired of hearing about these other great stadiums. We're going to make this a great stadium together because we're going to own it. Have a great night and go Jags. All right, Coach, I got one for you. Everyone's here to see that number one overall pick. And, and some people have some ideas of who it could be. If it is perhaps a franchise quarterback, what would that mean for this team right now? Well, the one thing about the sport of football, I've heard the NFL uh, coaches and even media people say that uh, professional football is a quarterback league or quarterback game. And I, I got news for you. So is college. So is high school, so is Pop Warner, so is Pee Wee football. The game of football is driven by the quarterback, never more than now. And so a quarterback that can come in and perform at a very high level at a very young age has been something that we're very interested in and we've looked very hard at. So I don't want to give too much away, but <laughs> a quarterback's very important, obviously. And you said earlier this week you were uh, a little nervous. How are we feeling right now? Well, I'm nervous about everything. When you see this stadium, the way I look at this, and I know Coach Strong, who, who I'm very close with, we share this. We feel an obligation. We don't just come to Jacksonville. We feel like we have an ob obligation to this incredible city, the incredible people of Jacksonville, a great owner, and most important, our players to give us our very best. So you're darn right I'm a little nervous, but you're going to get the very best from our coaching staff. Well, it's going to be an awesome night, Coach. Thank you for your time. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Go Jags. Let's give it up for our coaches. Thank them for joining us. It's a busy night for them, to say the least.